Welcome back everybody, some daily content. We're gonna watch me do probably one of the <clears throat> harder six minute on the minute workouts I've ever done. So, let's get started on the workout first. We are off in three, two, one, getting it. So what are we doing here? Uh, <clears throat> we're doing a six minute on the minute workout. And for some of you that don't know what on the minute means, it means I'm going to perform some amount of movements, actions, and reps every minute on the minute for a specified amount of time. In this case, it's gonna be six minutes. Um, <clears throat> you can also do a workout like that where, you know, <clears throat> you go as long as you can. Um, in this case, this is pretty, six minutes is pretty much the end of it. Like this was as far as it probably go. Um, if I test this out later, it might be go a little bit further, but six minutes is probably as far as I can probably get. So anyways, what's the workout? The workout is <clears throat> on the minute four muscle ups and 20 wall balls. Simple. <clears throat> Very, very simple. Um, simple and a shoulder burner. And if you think about it, if you really kind of look at the time stamps for this, first round I got done in like 51 seconds. It's gonna get a little bit slower every round from here on out. Only because I think one round I actually chalked up, forgot to let the clock and kind of wasted like two seconds like an idiot. But it was really a shoulder burner for sure. So I actually wrote this down, first of all, I wrote this down, workout down as five muscle ups and 20 wall balls on the minute. But then decided, you know what? I want to actually finish this in five minutes. So I'm gonna do four muscle ups after I timed a couple rounds considering five muscle ups was taking me, you know, uh, 15 to 17 seconds, kind of depends. And so I thought, okay, well if it takes me 20 seconds to do wall, I'm sorry, 40 seconds to do wall balls, I can do, 20 wall balls in 40 seconds pretty much on the dot, then if I'm doing 20, 40 seconds worth of wall balls and 15 to 17 seconds worth of muscle ups, that's really no time at all to really even transition back to the rings. So this was actually a really good choice to do four muscle ups. It allowed me time to actually walk back, chalk, and then jump on the rings with really no transition between the muscle ups to the wall balls. Um, and very minimal transition between the wall balls, I'm sorry, between the wall balls and the muscle ups. I mean, pretty minimal. Um, if you really think about it, this, if, you, if you look at this like a six minute workout, you think it's a six minute time cap, I'm trying to say. And you think, okay, you're trying to do uh, 24 muscle ups and 120 wall balls in six minutes. That's actually pretty That's actually pretty fast. Like if you think about it and think, oh, I'm gonna do 24 muscle ups and 120 wall balls in six minutes, that would be pretty tough. Um, and this would be one of the smarter ways of breaking it up if you're trying to accomplish that task, would be to break it up this way. We actually did a workout uh, last week. It was, it was 30 muscle ups and 90 thrusters at 95 pounds. You could break it up however you wanted to break it up, but you had to get that done. Is that what it was? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 30, 30 and 90. And so we did that workout. And so the, the question, hey, Winston. And so the really would come down to is how you want to break it up. You could break it up with 30 muscle ups, unbroken or not unbroken. But start with 30 muscle ups and try to knock out as many as you can, which is what I did. And then finish with thrusters and as many sets as you need to. But the problem is there's going to be rest between the thruster rounds, right? There's going to be rest between those rounds. There's going to be rest between when you drop off the rings, you're going to need to rest. And that's a waste of time. So if you fill that waste of time with moving back and forth between movements like we're doing here, then you're probably gonna accomplish it faster. What I'm trying to say is, let the water lose a workout. If you had 75 toes of bar and 150 wall balls, and you decided, I'm just gonna do 150 wall balls unbroken, and then do 75 toes of bar, it's probably gonna be pretty slow. Because the transition and the rest time between, the rest time between doing, okay, I did 30 toes of bar, I'm gonna rest, and then jump up and do another 15. That rest you can fill with wall balls. And that's the same concept you can use here in the six minute workout, is if you had to attack 24 muscle ups and 120 wall balls, it might be smart to break it up into manageable chunks where you know your rest transition periods can be very, very short, compared to if you just decided to do 24 muscle ups unbroken, or 24 muscle ups into maybe two, three sets, and then jump into 120, muscle, 120 wall balls unbroken, or in as many sets as possible. And that's what I'm trying to say here is, Sometimes these workouts like this where they did in the water pools where you can break it up however you want, it's probably a little bit smarter to break it up in smaller sets like this where you minimize rest between movements and transition periods. Um, there was actually, our neighbors were actually firing off fireworks in this video, and so Daisy was scared, so she came in and hung out with me. She actually got away a couple times from muscle ups. Thought I was gonna kick her a few times, but uh, 
Luckily, I didn't. So, we're finishing up the fifth minute, and then we're gonna move on to our last minute, um, our sixth minute right here. I think this is the time she's getting in the way. Come on, girl. Liz is just being super needy. So here's the time I kind of wasted a bunch of time and I'd be like, hey, you need to get away. I'm turning these muscles. I don't want to keep this in the face. So, um, if you're doing this workout and you're going to attempt this, um, I would choose something you know you can finish in the first round, probably in 50 to 51 seconds, and then go from there and realize that you're going to get tired and it's probably going to get slower and slower, and that's fine. So if you're great at muscle ups, stick to this. If you're better than me, try a 5 to 20, right? Um, if you can't do muscle ups or you're not good at them, drop the rep scheme. Maybe you're doing 3 and 20. Maybe you're doing two and twenty. Um, I would probably try to keep the wall balls in a very similar amount. The goal in this workout is to really stress your muscle ups, and and don't worry about the wall balls. Wall balls are there just to be a stressor, right? So you probably don't need to drop the wall balls less than twenty, unless of course like doing twenty wall balls is just going to break it, right? You need to choose a an amount that you know you can get unbroken, um, but is going to be difficult. So for me, twenty wasn't difficult at the beginning, but it got difficult near the end. And so that's kind of the number I decide to stick to. Ooh. That hurt my shoulders more than I thought it would. That was rough. <laughs> 